a new IRCC idea has been circulating to allow new Canadians to skip either the virtual or in-person ceremony and instead optate the oath at the click of a button and the implementation of a new automated tool to help fast track your applications. We have a lot to cover in this week's episode. You're watching My Consultant. In this week's episode, we're covering British Columbia and Manitoba's recent provincial nominee program draw. Next, which Alberta border crossing has closed for the season? Followed by the alternative idea to taking Canada's citizenship oath. Stay with us as I share the IRCC's new tech to help them process your applications. And Tina will tell you everything you need to know about the first ever category-based selection invitations for newcomers with work experience in agriculture and agri-food. This week's episode of My Consultant is brought to you by Scotiabank. Columbia and Manitoba have recently held provincial nominee program draws. On 19th September, British Columbia conducted new draws, issuing 225 invitations through different streams of British Columbia provincial nominee program. The draws were split into two categories, targeted and general. On 21st September, Manitoba conducted a new Canada immigration draw through Manitoba Provincial Nominee Program, issuing 620 invitations to apply. Alberta's chief mountain border crossing has long been viewed as one of Canada's most picturesque ports of entry and at 5,649 feet or 1.72 kilometers, it stands to be the tallest of all ports of entries in the country. Although the port of entry isn't going anywhere, the opportunity to utilize it has, well, at least until the spring. This is because the port of entry has officially closed as of September 30th, but it will reopen in the spring of 2024. As mentioned, the chief mountain border crossing has the highest elevation of all border crossings in Canada, making it difficult to operate during Alberta's harsh winters. As a result, the border crossing only operates from May to September. As an alternative, travelers can still use Alberta's Careway Port of Entry or Coots Port of Entry. Safe travels! Canada's Immigration Minister Mark Miller is considering an option to allow new Canadians to take their citizenship oath with a click of a button. But there are no immediate plans to implement it. This idea will allow new Canadians to skip a virtual or in-person ceremony and opt instead for the oath just with a click of a mouse. This new change is also expected to save at least three months of processing time for people. The government expects that the in-person participation will drop even more once the one-click option is introduced and there would be likely a fewer ceremonies going forward. To combat Canada's extensive backlogs, the IRCC, Immigration, Refugees and Citizenship Canada, is expanding the use of automation technologies to help them process work permit extensions and post-graduation work permits more efficiently. The automated tools will be used to sort through applications using criteria developed by IRCC officers based on the legislative and regulatory criteria for the program. The goal? To help enable quicker decisions for some applicants. As per the IRCC, the tools will be routinely reviewed to ensure that they are working as intended and are consistent with applications that receive a full human review. Keep in mind, only an IRCC officer can refuse an application. The tools cannot refuse or recommend refusing. The tools are meant to sort, assign, and assess applications. 
the automated tools will be used to handle most clerical and repetitive tasks, allowing the IRCC officers the opportunities to focus their attention on assessing applications and making the final decision. So, how does it work? According to the IRCC, the eligibility function of the tool identifies routine applications for streamlined, simpler processing, accelerating their work. When reviewing an application, the tools will assess whether this is a routine case. It will then determine whether an applicant is eligible for a work permit extension or a post-graduation work permit based on the criteria implemented by the IRCC. The file is then sent to an IRCC officer to determine if the applicant remains admissible to Canada and make the final decision. Applicants that do not have their eligibility approved automatically may still be manually approved following a review by an IRCC officer. Canada has recently invited candidates in its first ever category-based express entry draw for agriculture and agri-food occupations. On 28 September 2023, Canada issued 600 invitations to apply in its first ever category-based express entry draw for candidates with work experience in agriculture and agri-food occupations. Candidates required a minimum comprehensive ranking system, that is CRS score of 354 for this draw. The draw targeted candidates with skills and experience in three occupations in the sector. Service contractors, retail and wholesale butchers, and farm supervisors. Immigration Minister Mark Miller says that conducting this category-based draw is an exciting step toward welcoming more skilled farm and food workers to Canada. As Canada is the fifth largest exporter of agri-food and seafood on the planet. That is why addressing labour shortages is crucial to maintain the sector's ability to produce and process food at this scale for Canadian and export markets around the world. IRCC introduced changes to the express entry system through the category-based election on May 31st this year, in which six new categories were announced, keeping high demand occupations in mind. Categories include Health Occupations, Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics that is STEM Occupations, Trade Occupations, Transport Occupations, Agriculture and Agri-Food Occupations and French Speakers. Canada has conducted the following draws so far. Four draws targeted at French Speakers. Two draws targeted at Healthcare Occupations. One draw targeted at STEM occupation, one draw targeted at skill trades, and one draw targeted at transport jobs. According to IRCC, through category-based selection, Canada is working towards gathering the top global talent and resolving the issue of labour shortages to support its economy. The category-based selection draws will continue throughout the year alongside the program-specific and general draws. That's all for today. Thank you so much for joining us this week. If you are looking for more information and updates about Canada immigration, then please subscribe to our My Consultant YouTube channel. You can also visit our website myconsultant.ca where you can find an authorized immigration and citizenship consultant. I am Tina Batra and I'm Tashina Thompson and we'll see you next week. Oh,